Hi, I'm Amelia Padilla with Level Up Strength Society. I'm a personal trainer, a strength coach, and a mom. And I know that sometimes when life gets in the way, we get out of the habit of moving in a regular routine. So I put together a quick 15 minute routine that you can do every day. It's not gonna take up a lot of time and you don't need any equipment. All right, let's get started. So we're gonna have five movements that we're gonna work through. We're gonna go through all five movements about three times, maybe four, depending on your level and how hard it is for you. So the first exercise is gonna be swimmers. So we're gonna lay on our belly, and we're gonna be lifting the opposite arm and the opposite leg at the same time. The easiest way is to start all the way up, focusing on squeezing through our back, pushing our core into the ground, squeezing our glutes, all right? We're gonna alternate, one leg down, the opposite arm down, and switch. So one on each side is one rep. We're gonna do 15. All right. Now our next exercise is called a press up. So this is basically like a mix between a uh, cobra and a push-up. So again, we're going to be on our belly. All right. For a push-up, typically we have our hands underneath our shoulders. For the press-ups, we're going to push our hand a little bit further back. And we're going to press into the floor with our palms, the front part of our palms, towards our fingers. Keeping our hips and our legs down on the ground. We're focus on stretching for our abdomen and our core. Extending our arms all the way, pressing into the ground, getting a nice stretch, and then we come back down. So nice and slow and controlled, really focus, squeeze, and then lower back down with control. All right, so we're gonna be doing 10. with a hip dip. So we're going to get into a side plank position and then we're going to with control lower our hips down and then pull them back up. So this is going to be working our obliques, it's going to be challenging our adductors a little bit, a little bit in our glutes and definitely our side of our torso. Okay so when we get into a side plank position make sure that your elbow is underneath your shoulder. Okay, we don't want to have it out here underneath the shoulder. Make sure the shoulder is nice and tight, pulled back. We'll get into our side plank position and we're going to do 10 on each side. We're going to lower with control and back up. Now it can be easy to just really go through these fast, but you're going to get a lot more out of the movement if you go through it nice and slow and controlled. All right, so let's go 10 on each side. Not a big movement. If that is a bit challenging for you, you can do it from your knees. Okay, just make sure that your torso here is nice and straight. And back up just in the same way. All right, we're gonna switch to the other side. And get our 10 reps on this side. So again, make sure your elbow underneath your shoulder, make sure your shoulder is pulled back, you feel some tension here, like under your armpit, that area is squeezed, it's nice and tight, keep your shoulder safe, push up into your side plank, let's go. Alright, fantastic. So the next exercise is a runner stretch. So, you know, with our swimmers, we're working our core and our back and our shoulders. With our press-ups, we're working primarily our shoulders and our arms. Okay, we're getting a nice stretch in our torso. Side planks, we're working our core, especially the obliques in the side. Now, our runner stretch is going to be working our hips, and we're going to get a nice twist and stretch out of those in our torso as well. 
All right, so we wanna make sure that our hips have plenty of good mobility. Okay, so starting from standing, we're going to step one foot out to a nice long lunge position, all right? Then we're gonna be bending our forward knee into our runner stretch. We're gonna take the opposite arm from the leg that's in front. And we can rest it down. I like to rest just my fingertips. So you can rest your whole hand down on the ground. And then stretch the other arm up. All right, so this is our nice twist. We're gonna hold it for about five seconds. And then come back down. And we're gonna sit up, bring our torso up, and think about pushing the hips forward, okay? As long as you have the weight in your hips, not up on your toe, then your knee is safe. So keep that weight in your hips, push it forward towards the heel of your front foot. Get that nice stretch here in your inner thigh. Nice stretch here in your hamstrings in the front. All right, hold it for about 15 seconds, 20 seconds, and then we're gonna switch. Okay, so come back up, put your feet back together. Switch sides. We're gonna come down again, get that nice stretch. We're gonna do our twist first. Bring the hand down. Stretch the other arm up towards the ceiling. Come back to our stretch. Get a little bit more hip stretch going. Push the hip down towards the heel. Keep the torso upright. Hold this about 20 seconds. do is do this four times on each side all right so we've already done one on each side now we're going to continue again three more times on each side Great, so hopefully as you move through those stretches, you feel each time that you go through, you can get a little bit deeper, twist a little bit more, and it feels really good. So the last exercise we're gonna do are windmills. These are some of my favorite exercises for opening up our core and our hips and our hamstrings and getting a nice twist through our torso because very often we stay just in this plane of movement. We're often not twisting a whole lot during the day. It's really great for our spinal health, our organ health. So let's go. Windmills. You're going to start in a wide stance foot position. You're going to have your arms out and you're going to bring, you're going to twist, bring one arm down and forward a little bit. As you twist, you're stretching the other arm up towards the ceiling. So you should feel your obliques engage because as you twist, you're holding yourself there. All right, you should feel a stretch in your hamstring, right in the back of your leg. You should feel a stretch in your adductors in between your thighs. All right, a great rep range is six to eight on each side. All right, so I'll go ahead and do six reps and then we'll be finished. That is 
with it. So like I said, you should repeat this routine, these five exercises, about three times. Maybe you can do four if you're feeling really good. Start with three and then work up from there. It's a really great routine to again, keep mobility in your hips, your shoulders, your torso, and get you moving and into routine again. So I hope that you enjoyed that. If you would like to follow me, uh, my website is pdxstrengthsociety.com. You can also find me on Instagram at levelupstrengthsociety. Thank you so much.